Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comedian, and we have a Love is Blind storyline to follow up on. Jackie, who was portrayed as the villain on this past season of Love is Blind, has dropped uh, dozens of receipts, text messages, to prove that she did not cheat on Marshall, that she was broken up with him before her first rendezvous with Josh. Do me a favor, follow me on Instagram, at dneals, if you enjoy this storyline, and if you want behind-the-scenes content, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I go live every morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time, and during my live this morning, we put together this video you're about to watch, and it is dramatic. There's a lot to discuss here. We've got this first receipt where she uses to say what date she broke up with Josh. Gosh, we're going to get into all of this. For, I'm sorry, what date she broke up with Marshall. We're going to get into all of this right now. She accuses Marshall of using a slur, um, and we're going to show the evidence she has. Look, let's be honest. It's very difficult to have conversations around a TV show like this. Whenever I make these videos, and I know you're already firing up your comments, whenever I make these videos, why are you sticking up for Jackie? Why are you on this person's team? Why are you on that person? It's always the case. You make one point, why are you conservative? One point, why are you liberal? Nonsense. Context. Critical thinking. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to share everything Jackie said, and also, we've got this video by Josh. He released a statement. We're going to listen to it in its entirety right after we get to the Jackie part. Jackie hard launches her relationship. A year of standing side by side with my other half. Our journey to find each other was not easy, but it was worth it. Thank you for loving me, standing by me, and protecting me. I love you forever and through every realm, Josh. At, at Josh. Thank you. Love is blind for this amazing experience. And people comment toxic, love's toxic, and this is that. Um, now, Josh um, has his statement or his video. We're going to get to that. There's no better way to hear somebody's true thoughts than a video they share directly to their audience. So we're going to get to that. But what's very fascinating is how her relationship ended with Marshall. Now, of course, Jackie, and please listen to me as I say this. Of course, there were plenty of moments you could look at where Jackie did not come off well on this show. This show shows us how flawed we all are with our communication. When it comes to grace, grace that we're going to talk about in the next video, as Zach Goitowski talks about needing grace. If there's anything you remember about me, this is what I hope you remember. I believe all life is redeemable. And the one thing we all need is grace. And then he shares his story. That's a separate video. We're going to get to that. There's a lot to get to here. So grace is easy to have when it's an old lady walking across the street and you want to help somebody out and, oh, we need to have grace. Where is the grace for people that you think don't deserve your grace? That's the crux. That's where it's needed. And if you think Jackie came off horrible and she doesn't deserve it, well, Dave, why are you defending here? Because everybody on the show is trying the best with the information they have. Let's listen to her receipts. Um, here we go marriage are we thinking little jj's okay. jj is a little bit um i think we're taking our, our time with everything you know what i mean i think like he's like we're taking our time you know what i mean and look so here's what happened Jackie and Josh were essentially uninvited. We're going to get to her explanation as to why. She basically says there were death threats that Netflix had received and they decided for their safety to not invite them. I personally believe Jackie and Josh were uninvited because of the controversy they may she Jackie might have stirred up by sharing her receipts and calling out Marshall on the show. I believe they felt it would be easier to control the narrative by interviewing them beforehand. That's just my belief. That's what I think. Um, but anyway, then again, they also, you know, because they were a couple that made it out of the show, even if their process was a little different, they made it out of the show. So here we go. Let's get to the receipts. Wedding fitting with, with, with was April 29th. This is a conversation that Jackie had with Micah. <clears throat> The fitting was the night before. This is the day after. Hi, hi, morning. Hi, how was you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I missed you yesterday at the wedding fitting and just wanted to check in. Always here if you need me. Yeah, I'm okay. I broke up with Marshall. And she goes, OMGGG. So Jackie says, I broke up with Marshall. This is on the 30th. The wedding fitting was the 29th. Everyone said, why wasn't Jackie at the fitting? She stood Marshall up. Of course, it's the producer's. April 29th, day of the fitting. Here's the coffee spot. April 29th, the day I broke up with Marshall. Later that night, April 29th at 10.20 p.m., I received the coffee shop date details to meet with Josh April 20th at 2.30 p.m. So 
Obviously, when it comes to the show, we have to look at things differently than in real life. If real life, she broke up with a guy and then the next day did a coffee date, you'd be going, oh, there's emotional cheating, there's this, there's that. Well, Zach broke up with Irina and then took the meeting with Bliss and they ended up happy. I don't know if they made it. I didn't watch that part of the reunion. I don't know if they made it to the end. We'll get there. I don't want to spoil it for people because not everyone's watching the reunion because Netflix had a disaster. But here's what she says. I broke up with Marshall before I saw Josh, period. So could the date with Josh have been in the works to be set up while she was still with Marshall? Yeah, possibly. If you want to call that emotional cheating, that's the gray area that exists. What am I going to do? But as far as the show's concerned, there's a lot of dating and mixing and mingling. So I'm not here to judge anybody. Marshall and Jackie tried to work it out. They couldn't. They clearly were bad at communicating. They clearly both were not meant for each other, but it gets ugly. All right, so here's what Josh had to say. We'll get to that in a second. So let's continue with the receipts. I'm cool off this. Tell him I'm good and he can pick the ring up at the crib. I'm getting all my stuff out of the house. I'm good. Ben said to come pick up the ring. Uh, and then uh, uh, I don't uh, I don't know who this is with. You guys need to have a real conversation. This is crazy. Y'all feeling are in this and y'all are reacting off of emotion. Take a beat for a minute. Roll up and calm down. You're emotional right now and nothing good is going to come from that. Hey, that's pretty good advice. Tell him to boss up and face a real one then. He want to sit here and do that weird stuff in my face like bye. And then person said, that's what I'm doing. I've been trying to get him together and now I got to get you together too. Jesus, y'all wearing me thin <laughs> um and then here's another question uh here i'm here sorry here's tiffany tiffany said hey jackie b from the 253 it's tiffany just thinking about you and then of course jackie's response hey baby girl i'm not gonna lie i'm gone through it me and marshall aren't in a good space this is april 27th two days before she broke up with him it's heavy in my soul because i hate where we are but it's out of my hands now it hurt i feel like this whole experience is soul sucking and that old jack is coming back i got you locked in i can't wait to see you tonight um your feelings are valid and this experience is hard i'm here if you want to talk about it on or off camera i got you girl keep your head up and see you later on and then this is where jackie First mentions she was called a transphobic slur. She said, Marshall told me I look like a T-word and that he viewed me as a project that he could mold into something. I would have never thought he would say those to me. He told me I wear too much too much sweats and then I need to give him more. Tiff, I'm so emotionally drained. Tiff's response was, wait, what? That is totally disrespectful and you don't deserve someone who speaks to you that way. She said it caught me off guard. Now, hindsight's 2020. I don't have empirical evidence that... And again, no one's trying to prove this to me. It's a court of public opinion. But I do not have empirical evidence that Marshall said the T word to her. She claims he did in the receipt on April 28th. April 28th. I didn't tell you, but the reason I was late was because me and Marshall got into an altercation because he called me a T word. What? Why? What the legit F? Day before I broke up with Marshall, he had called me the transphobic slur. He said it as a joke because we were fi filling out the marriage thing. And he was like, male or female? And I'm like, question mark. And he was like, you kind of look like a T word. I'm like, huh? And that was Sunday night. Monday, he said he was joking and that he was sorry because I told him. Okay, so I am I am not offering an opinion onto the severity of this. I'm just telling you, this is Jackie's side. And I do not know with 100% certainty that it is what Marshall said. It is what we call a he said, she said. Tiffany and Micah both know I was called a transphobic slur. Now, what is damning for Marshall is that she had all these receipts on April 28th. And some people might say, Jackie uh, has been accused of fabricating... Um, uh, okay, let's put it this way. Jackie has been accused of fabricating um, accounts that sent her direct hate as a way to receive sympathy from others. That is an accusation against Jackie that I cannot prove or disprove. But she basically said the same thing to Micah. And Micah said, I don't think Marshall gave Brett the full story. I would have thrown that ring in his face and gave him the middle finger. Just think real hard about if this is the man you want in your life. He should be uplifting you. Those words he used were hurtful. Again, these are Tiffany. These are Jackie's friends reacting to what Tiff, what, to what, Jackie said happened. I'm not calling Jackie a liar. I'm just saying it's a he said, she said. 
More receipts. I have to protect myself. They coming at me crazy. And then uh, the last receipt, then I'm done. If I would have known Marshall had gone to the suit fitting, I would have called him. I was unaware he was there because I was at the town home waiting for him to get back to break up. They left out a lot in its very in its very apartments. Protect your little energy and self. Love you. Jackie said, it's sad. We are getting death threats. It's effed up. Jackie, I remember you calling me crying because you told them you weren't going to dress shopping and said, I would never do that to Marshall, making him go suit shopping. Like, this is sick how they're painting you to be literal emotionless. Again, this is from April 8th. Um, my question is this. I'm assuming this is April 8th this year. Wasn't Wouldn't this dress fitting have been last year? I don't know, folks. I don't know. I don't have a full timeline or forensic evidence or any of this stuff. These are just her receipts. And for the simplicity of things, I choose to believe people, but I also choose not to slam Marshall for information I can't prove to be true. Do you know what I mean? Josh, my rock, my world, other half of me, the one that will sacrifice his love of Cinestix to buy me the chocolate crunch lava cakes from Domino's. Um, so anyway, there they are. They went to the um, the game. Everyone saw me and Josh did not attend the live reunion due to death threats being sent to us and Netflix. Netflix decided to keep us safe and have us do that one-on-one -on -one with Vanessa. We fought and fought to be there, and they said it was better to protect us and them. So be it. My guess is they decided to not um, to not make news with the transphobic slur issue. That's my guess. Is they that's why they didn't want that in there. I'm driving to Tacoma after work. I won't be back in time. I beg to go to my wedding dress fitting. You have tomorrow off, right? Because tomorrow is supposed to be wedding dress shopping. Okay, so this is last year. So my question is, why do these receipts say 2022, whereas the previous receipts don't say anything? That makes me believe the previous receipts were taken this year in 2023, in which case that was only from a week ago. So those, so if... The first time Jackie had mentioned the transphobic receipts was a week ago. It is for sure more suspect. I don't see it saying 2020. Oh, here. No. Um, it caught me. Okay. I, I stand corrected. This was in 2022. So she first mentioned this a whole year ago before she became, because a lot of people are questioning and guys, we're trying to get it right here. We're trying to get it right. But a lot of people are questioning Jackie and saying, well, She's making, she's made up accounts of, of the story and, and be, because she's come off as a villain. Well, a year ago, she wouldn't have come off, she wouldn't have known she would have been portrayed as a villain. Um, and she shared the story then. So in the court of law, it's relatively good evidence that it's not something that was just made, you know, for modern convenience that it was made a year ago. But of course, it's still not evidence that Marshall actually said these things. And it's important that we, uh, pick through this with a fine tooth comb. It is important because if we are to, to believe Jackie, we should um, believe her after making sure that the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, if he, if you will. So there she was saying they um, that she wanted to go to the wedding dress fitting because uh, you know people were upset she didn't go to the wedding dress fitting. She stood them up. All these things they have to remember. The producer set it all up. They might not even have each other's. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they have each other's phone numbers. I don't know. So here she is to meet my friend. She she wanted to, you know, some more receipts that she wanted to go. Um, she So uh, she said, let me know. Why do you want to go? For what? She said, well, I wanted to use that to talk to Cassie about my decision. I feel like since you guys don't want me to talk about it to her off camera, and that's my right hand, I have to tell her soon. So this is her talking to a producer. Let me try to get you, uh, to get you with Marshall later today, and I can get you with Cassie and Josh tomorrow. Okay, I'll be here at my place. Just holler. And because a lot of people say, well, why didn't, why did they refilm this scene or why did they do that? You have to understand. There's a dozen different storylines happening and there's one production company. So they might say, all right, we'll film your thing tomorrow and the next thing the day after. This is kind of the problem when a show isn't following you 24-7 like they do when they film The Bachelor. They basically like, if you, you know, for the most part, The Bachelor gets it all on camera. Some of the messages and hate I've personally seen in their DMs were so sad. No one deserves that. They are human and know they made mistakes that were amplified by the biggest reality show out right now. But I can promise you the best is yet to come with these two. I'll make sure these two are good till the wheels fall off and I don't care what anyone thinks about that what's real don't always have to be explained and that was a that was their friend jp who was on the show endorsing them those that uh those that were looking for jackie receipts last night check out her instagram story she's been posting them all backing up what she said from ricky valerio valero so there it is and let's get to what josh had to say hey 
This is Josh. I just want to say that I'm very thankful for the opportunity that Netflix and Love is Blind gave me to come onto the show. How I was portrayed isn't exactly who I am as a person. Those things did happen, but it, there's always more to the story. I grew up wrestling, doing judo, done jiu-jitsu. I've traveled the world doing all sorts of combat sports. I've lived in Thailand. I finishing my master's with a 4.0. Never had a speeding ticket, never been in trouble with the law. I say th these things because I'm passionate and I'm hardworking. In the pods, I think it all started with Marshall and I, a lot of miscommunication, and I have nothing against him. There's a couple scenes where you see me, I sit back, I chill, I listen to Kwame, Paul and Kwame are talking, I get up, I walk away. In the pods, there's a lot of people telling each other who they're talking to, and I that wasn't me. I didn't want anybody to be deterred by who I was talking to, and I wasn't trying to get into any pissing contest with anyone. One night, it, this was coming to the last days of engagements. I had two girls. One girl told me she was going to break up with her other guy that didn't happen and then i was supposed to be with jackie that night and she never showed up and i had no idea why so then i packed my bags because if you can guess if you don't have any dates you go home and that's why i packed my bags so i was surprised to see her the next day and i had told her that and then i told her good things about marshall qualities that i don't have and I'm still working on. And then she had told him that, and this was, there was a miscommunication where he thought, I think was, I was talking crap about him, but I wasn't. I wasn't sneaking around. I wasn't trying to badmouth anybody. Then I overheard him speaking about me and I'm pretty sure he knew it was me. So I confronted him about it and you never see Jackie and I breaking up because we didn't. I took a step back. I thought that they had sp spoken about getting engaged, Marshall. Um, wanted to share just a very insightful comment from someone in our Patreon saying, you know, because people are wondering why would why would Josh feel the need to share his accolades, his GPA, not having a speeding ticket? Well, this is a privileged place, you know, to have to not understand this. And the comment says, he was definitely portrayed as an aggressive black man. So clearly he's trying to express how accomplished he is and that he's not some aggressive black man. Yeah, he's 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 admitting his flaws. He's not admitting that he's a perfect guy here. But uh, very, very good, as always, to hear from someone's mouth their thought process throughout all this. Go ahead. Talked about, yeah, we're getting engaged. Now, I'm not sure if he meant it like we're getting engaged or that's the one. But... When he was talking to me, he goes like, I told you about her. I think you're going to get your heart broken. So I took a step back and I said, I, like, I apologized. I was never able to emotionally open up to Jackie because that's something that's hard for me, especially in the pods, just like trying to open up to somebody. And when you have somebody else in your ear telling me how great they're doing, what they're talking about, it's just, it's a difficult situation unless you've been in it. So then when I went home, I had found out that they hadn't been engaged and that she had actually been upset and torn between the two of us. That was difficult hearing. That was very difficult, but things happen and I understand. So I went back and I was training for a competition. I'd been cutting weight, a lot of weight because my diet in the pods wasn't the best. Um, and then I got, called and I got asked if I would go to Chelsea's birthday party which I agreed to and I went and I knew the odds were against me statistically anybody that's come up to somebody in love is blind is like oh, I think we would work out better da 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 they usually fail 10 out of 10 times and I would be naive to think I would be any different but like I said I'm a very passionate person, and if I believe in something, I'm gonna pursue it even if the odds are against me. 
right before I went in there, I had been pre-gaming. And then I had gotten word that Marsha had been talking crap about me. Which is obviously true. He said he wanted to scrap me. What is that? What is that? Alcohol and drama uh, don't work out well on reality TV shows? No way. After I had told him that he could be with Jackie and I apologized if I was stepping on any toes. Um, and that was difficult for me to hear, especially I'm already nervous. I'm going in there. I've never met Jackie, never seen Jackie. And then I get this word of him like speaking like he's, he wants to fight me or something, which again, I've done a lot of training in my life. I wasn't worried about that situation. It just, it was hard hearing that. And so as you notice, when I first go in, I have a couple of bad dance moves, but I'm still trying not to focus on what I just heard. I speak to Paul, I say how great Marshall is, but I put his feelings before mine, which like I said, I had stepped back. And then I see him and I see his, his body language. He's staring, he's trying to force his coat on Jackie. And I'm upset because that's when I realize he has been talking crap. And now I'm not very proud of my actions. I'm not proud of how I presented myself. Um, but one thing about me is I wasn't gonna sneak behind his back. I wasn't gonna sneak behind anybody's back. I told him essentially why I was there, but I also had to defuse the situation because I didn't want this to end up getting into a fight and then end up both going to jail for no reason. I was childish on how I acted. Also, he's an MMA star. I wouldn't want to fight him. And... Well, maybe not an MMA star, but listen, anyone who knows MMA, I'm not fighting. I recognize that. I, um, if I would have known, it would hurt Jackie and Marshall so much. I would have... I would have taken a step back and I would have just not have gone, if I'm being honest. That being said, I am sorry to Marshall and Jackie. I think if anybody wants to be upset with anybody, they should be upset with me. Um, I think hate spreads hate. And as we have seen here, he thought I was talking crap about him. So then he started talking crap about me and just like, where does it end? And anybody that's like, going on the comments. I really don't mind whatever you say on my page, but the reason why you guys are hating is because you saw me do something mean or you saw somebody else on the cast do something mean and you think by being mean to them fixes everything when it doesn't and just spreads more hate. Night. All right, folks. It, it, this was coming to the last days of engagements. Wait, I had two girls. Okay, so I think we went back to the beginning. So there was a seven-minute clip. We played the full thing. I think it's. I think playing the full clip is the only way to share this. Netflix and any other reality show will edit things into a certain way, and we're here to play the full thing. He says he's sorry, and he says hate breeds hate. Unfortunately, it's going to lead to hate in the comment section, but what can you do? You know what I mean, folks? No one's claiming Josh or Jackie or Marshall all have their act together. I mean, they went on a blind dating show on reality TV. They're all searching for maybe uh, something greater than what they currently have out of life. Uh, sadly, for Josh and Jackie, they might realize that the thing that they got was you know, a collective um, uh, villainous edit. And maybe that's what they needed and will need to overcome in their life. Wishing them well. I'd love to know your thoughts. I wonder if we could all be measured and graceful in the comment section. Let's find out.